Asmongold's gaming org OTK is absolutely over at this point. It feels like every month a new founding member of OTK gets exposed being an absolute wild human. At first it was Mizkif, and I will remind everyone that Asmongold promised us that there is an ongoing third party investigation so we get to the bottom of what happened in the Mizkif situation. And well, it's been six years, and not a single peep or update has been made on the matter. It's almost like it got swept under the rug. It's almost like there is a video where Asmongold is a call, and he says that he is gonna make that all go away. And it seems like he was successful. But now, uh, good luck dealing with Rich Campbell. Rich Campbell is the newest OTK member to have some spicy allegations against him. Are they true? Are they not true? Well, who knows? Rich, off, uh, Rich told us that he is gonna offer us an explanation, and it's the next day, and there is no uh, explanation. But honestly, that explanation at this point does not matter, because I don't have the tweet here, but OTK have already cut ties with Rich, and he's pretty much out of, uh, out of that. So, there are two main ways why something like this can happen. First of all, Asmongold just understands how bad the situation is, and he just instantaneously kicks Rich. OTK is uh, not a publicly traded company, and it has multiple owners. But if you have a company that has multiple owners, not every owner is equal. And I am 100% convinced Asmongold holds 51% of the company under his ownership. Which means that he can make any executive decision about the company single-handedly without consulting anyone. And this is a, po a possibility of it. And this is not good. Because Rich Campbell is saying, oh, he's gonna make his own statement about the situation. And, you know, already multiple people, not only, uh, not only just one girl has come forward and said some not great things. But that does not mean that he's guilty. But Asmongold's decision now to instantaneously boot him off of OTK does make him extremely uh, look extremely guilty. And this is not good. When a situation similar to this happens in a real company, you know, not run by millionaires without any real-world experience or any, any actual work ethics, then no one does an overreaction like this. The only time you do an overreaction like this is when you're afraid that more things are gonna come forward and you know it's gonna be bad and you just wanna sweep it under the rug as fast as possible. So, either this is done because Rich says, oh, this is gonna be bad and more people are probably gonna come out, or Asmongold has understood that, well, it's over. We, they had one core member exposed, now there's a second one, and, well, you know, one is bad, but the second one means that no advertiser is gonna stick with them. They are gonna look at this company and they're gonna see, wow, almost half of their uh, starting members, most important members, have been now, now involved in pretty big scandals, and they're gonna pull out. So effectively, while well, OTK is not really, really gone, sponsors, it's gonna be really hard with sponsors, because these things are gonna stay and people are gonna remember it. Hey, people still meme about Miskiff in every pose that OTK makes. And you know, it's not looking good. It's, it's not looking good at all. And I don't wanna be the guy that told you so, but you know, I told you so. Asmongold has a couple of choice words. Let's hear them out. And I saw a lot of people that were saying that it wasn't true, uh, that she's making everything up. Please do not do that. Th this is, you, you are not our fan. You're not on our side. We are on their side. That's why Rich is gone. Do not do this. So this was the calculated uh, PR response. And then we have a second one, a little bit less calculated when you actually hear the real meat and potatoes of uh, why Asmongold is pissed. So let's hear about this one. I, I want to just reiterate one more time. Is that if you go... This time he's, by the way, not reading from a script. Uh, previously, you could see his uh, eyes darting, so he has bullet points that he needs to mention here, and he's uh, incorporating them. This time... He doesn't, and it sounds way different. And you are... Oh, it's bugged out, what the hell? If you go... 
Wait a minute, I'll reload it. It's bugged out for, uh, for a moment. It sounds a little bit similar, but trust me, and I will explain why this is way different and way worse than you may think. I, I want to just reiterate one more time. Is that if you go and you are messaging these girls, trying to cast aspersions, cast a shadow of doubt, and make them feel bad for coming forward with what their story is. You are not our fan. You're not my fan. You're not doing us any favors. You're not on our team. You're not helping us. You're not helping anyone. Do not do that. If I see people doing that in my chat, I will ban them. So this video, you don't see his eyes dart from this direction to this one. Because he's reading bullet points in the first one. He has done this multiple times. He prepares scripts and things like that. So this one is a lot different. Let me... Com uh, let me retextualize this. He is saying, do not bring attention to this situation. Bringing attention to this situation does not help us. The faster this fades away out of memory, the better it is. And if people keep talking about it, this is going to be a bigger deal than I want it to. If you keep uh, applying attention to this, you will make me look bad. You will make my org look bad. Stop it. You are directly harming me if you uh, give attention to this subject. This is essentially what he's saying. Oh, Asmongol, you're such an absolute slick, slick. Can't say anything else about it. But you know, it's pretty bad. There's actually nothing else on this link. And, well, needless to say, this is really bad. This is really bad for OTK. They are pretty much done. The worst part probably is they're not going to be really done because when you read comments on Asmongold's tweets and things like that, I don't know. I think his audience is not 10 to 14 year olds, but it's crazy because most of the time, the comments are like, Oh, Ashmangold, you handled this situation so well. You didn't yell at anyone. You're such an adult. Wow, you're such a good, good person for the... You didn't yell at anyone you hand. No, no. He... Nothing was handled well there. This is absolutely an overreaction, and it makes you look guilty and bad. Waiting a little bit... And if things get worse, then doing this would be better. Telling your viewers to absolutely stop talking about this situation because it hurts you and may, it, make, it attracts more attention and makes you look worse is not a good response to have in situations like this. First time, at least, he says, oh, it's about the victims. But the second time, he doesn't even say that. He just brutally re-emphasizes everything so people understand. Do not talk about the situation because it makes OTK and him look bad. And honestly, was this not expected? We have multiple clips where, you know, you can see how... Well, everyone in OTK knows how rotten everyone in OTK is. And this meme is exactly spot on. By the way, also I would like to remind everyone that Asmongold said, Well, Bobby Kotick is responsible for everything bad that's happening in Blizzard because it happened under his watch. And he should take responsibility. Gee, I wonder if Asmongold is actually going to even take an ounce of responsibility on himself for all the bad things that are happening. Uh, you know, I'm not a betting man, but I, I, I'm going to bet on no. No, he will not. And this is probably not the end. You have one person like this in OTK. That's really, really bad. You have two. Congratulations. You have a 100% bad pattern there. That's probably going to repeat itself uh, g given enough time at some point. Absolutely amazing. Anyway, that's all I have to say about this. I told you so. You can look up other videos on my channel about Asmongold. None of them are good. I have been saying this for a very long time. Asmongold is not a good person, and there's all no, there's a lot of uh, there's uh, there's a lot of examples of that, you know. But hey, maybe you are one of those people who believes that you know he spe he he lives on two thousand dollars a month he only eats fast food and he just he's just a gamer he's exactly like you and if you believe that well i have well i have a bridge to sell you honestly because you're probably gonna buy it